What is going on everybody? Today we're going to analyze the tape of both Mozzie Smith and Sam Williams against the Seattle Seahawks. To me, Sam Williams looked really, really good. And Mozzie Smith did have an up and down game. He had some losing reps, he had some winning reps. And we're going to get into all of that in this video. I'm very, very fired up. I really get into the tape of these two guys. And I also want you to keep this in mind. The Seattle Seahawks had their first team offensive line in from Charles Cross, Damian Lewis to Evan Brown, Phil Haynes, and Abraham Lucas. This is a top five offensive line. So this was a really, really nice test to kind of see Mozzie Smith go up against guys like Phil Haynes and Damian Lewis. At the same time, Sam Williams going up against Charles Cross. A really good battle. Very fired up for this one. Let's get right into it. Check out Sam Williams on this play. He's going to get close to the quarterback. This is the second play of the game. Although he doesn't actually get to the quarterback. But he gets fairly close and he does collapse the pocket a little bit. Keep in mind, Charles Cross is a really nice job. Really anchoring down within the rep. But Sam Williams does still do a pretty good job, and he does get fairly close to the quarterback, and he's looking to get off the block, almost gets to the quarterback. A pretty nice rep, if you ask me. Again, not every rep has to be a sack or a quarterback hit. Obviously, collapsing the pocket, as well as setting up a tackle on one pass rush move to hopefully come back to a second sort of move, right? Rather, it's some sort of counter on another play is definitely a real thing. On the other end, if you guys watch Mozzie Smith, He's going to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Phil Haynes. Haynes is a very, very good guard in the NFL. Haynes is going to shut him down. He's going to just anchor down. He's going to grab onto Smith. And this is one of the things I need Smith to really improve on. I need him to learn to break the contact. Not to try to overpower guys and toss them to the side, but truly break the contact. Truly break the, the arms, right? The grip strength of a guy. I need Smith to continue to work on being able to forking or chopping, swiping, and breaking contact. Phil Haynes has his shoulder pad latched onto, and Smith is not able to break that. You can see he's trying. He's just not able to get around it. Obviously, he does run into Odigizua as well. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this play out. You got a one-yard gain. Sam Williams is going to absolutely destroy this play. A very, very nice rep against the run. Really does a good job against the starting tight end for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Will Disley is a pretty good run blocking tight end and you can see Sam Williams absolutely displaces him. To me, this is a really, really nice job. Disley is really going to try to get to the inside here and try to push Sam Williams out towards the left. This is a dual concept. So you got double team blocks at the point of attack and then the double teams go up to the linebackers depending on which ways the linebackers are going to end up flowing. So the running back should be able to kick this into one of these lanes here. But you're going to see Sam Williams do a really nice job. At the point of attack, Disley's going to try to seal him off, try to get to the inside. And Williams just clubs him. And to me, that's a really, really nice job. Not that Sam Williams wasn't doing this last season, but this season, he just looks more impressive against the run. This season, he just looks more explosive. He just looks stronger and bigger and faster. And he's definitely playing with better technique. And, and here's a good example. Once he gets off this block, if you guys look at Disley, He's going to try to get the left hand back on Sam Williams. He's going to try to grab onto whatever he can grab onto to try to hold this block. And Williams is going to break that using his right hand. He's going to fork the hand off of him right there. All right, so to me, this is just another part of Sam Williams' game that he's kind of implemented. It's the ability to get off the block. So that's a really nice job. And from there, he's going to blow this play up. Really, really nice job. Uh, even more so than that, you can see Mozzie Smith kind of getting in there late. It is a dual concept. So... Keeping that in mind, the center and right guard are going to double team Smith. As soon as the linebacker flows to the left here, the center is going to get off that and get over here. And Mozzie Smith understands this concept. He is being double teamed and he knows one of those guys will release at some point. And when that release happens, he understands that'll be his opportunity to get off the block. And he gets off the block here, right? I think he definitely wins this rep. And late in the play, he's going to go and take his shot. I love that right there by Smith. Love the effort to get in there and help bring the running back down. I want you guys to watch two sequence of plays. Notice how Sam Williams is lined up far outside of the tackle. So the tackle is going to do something referred to as closing the distance. He's going to take two steps out to the left. He's going to really take the fight directly towards the defensive end. This was the first play of this drive right here. So Charles Cross is going to close the distance. As you see right there, he quickly takes those steps outwards to Sam Williams. And it's important to go with the next play that I'm going to show you guys. Because once again, Sam Williams is lined up far outside of Cross. And Cross is going to do the same exact thing he did on that last play. But this time, Sam Williams knows it. 
and he's going to beat this guy to the inside. Now, the quarterback does do a great job stepping out, but the cornerback loses pretty quickly on this play. So the quarterback's able to just easily step to the left and get the ball out. But again, to me, Sam Williams' understanding concepts, understanding what the offensive lineman may or may not do, is a step in the right direction because I did not see this from him last season. So this season, it looks like he's really been able to take his game to the next level. In the instance that he's understanding schemes he's understanding what certain guys are going to try to do especially being able to recognize this so quickly to me is a really really good indicator that sam williams is definitely going to take his game to the next level again i know he doesn't actually get the sack or the quarterback hit but to be able to get to the inside of a guy and force the quarterback to possibly step over to the left is still a good play to be able to get there and pressure him a little bit you know maybe someone else kind of rolls out and sacks the quarterback Maybe the quarterback's entire read was supposed to be to the right. And because you pressured him and now he rolled to the left, there's really no one out there for him to throw the ball to. So again, great job by Sam Williams to get a little bit of disruption. With that being stated, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. So one of the things I like to do on this channel is look at both positive and negative reps. And in this instance, you have a negative rep by Mozzie Smith. This is going to be a 29 yard run. If you guys watch what happens on this play, you guys will realize why this is a negative rep. This is something he'll have to continue to improve on. Do keep this in mind. Uh, Smith is going up against starting center of the Seattle Seahawks starting offensive line. This is the second drive of the game. And this is a really well coached unit, a very, very good unit. In my opinion, Evan Brown came over from the Detroit Lions and he's going to be a really good center for the Seattle Seahawks. And it's because of plays like this. It's because of his ability to reach on these zone runs and cut a guy off. Now, of course, Smith has to do a better job. You can't allow this to happen because if it does, the play's going to pop for 29 yards, regardless of if every other person wins. All right. And that's the one thing with team defense. If you want to be successful and have success, you have to make sure that you don't get reached. You have to make sure everybody plays within their run fit. In this instance, it's just one guy who ends up getting reached and sealed off and of course just like that you guys see this play pop so just some criticism from Monzi smith can't get reached on these plays you got to really attack and stay within your run fit all right you guys so i showed you guys two plays earlier where sam williams was super far outside of the tackle here's the third play very similar thing but check this one out on this one sam williams is gonna actually get the sack now the left tackle doesn't come out to him the same exact way but do understand the first time sam williams is kind of took him on and tried to speed rush the second time he jumped to the inside. On this one, he's going to hezzy to the inside, go to the outside, and then come back to the inside. To me, this is a really, really nice job. You know, sometimes pass rushes don't work, and people will say it's because the guy's not very good. But other times, it's actually that guys are trying to set it up. Guys are actually trying to set tackles or guards up for a move that they may come back to. This one right here is just a really, really nice job by Sam Williams. As you guys are going to see within the rep, he's going to fake to the inside. Let me back this up. He's going to fake to the inside. He's going to go back to the outside. But really, he's actually going to the inside. I hope that makes sense. You can see it within his body move exactly what it is that he's doing. He's going to get his left hand to Charles Cross. And he's going to throw him to the side. Just a really nice job. You can really see the strength on this play by Sam Williams. Keep in mind, both of these guys are second-year players. Charles Cross was a top-10 pick. Sam Williams was a second round pick and just like that Williams is able to get the pressure on the quarterback wraps up the quarterback and brings him down that's a really 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 nice rep if you guys ask me this is exactly what I like to see from Williams to really see that he's taking that year to leap all right be disruptive get pressure and keep in mind this is the first string unit and this was third and six so to me that's massive when the guys around you are not the first string group it does make it harder so for Williams being in a one-on-one -on -one situation, a true one-on-one -on -one situation like he was here, is kind of what we're going to expect when guys like Michael Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence are all kind of in the game with Sam Williams. So really nice job. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this play out. Watch Mozzie Smith take on the guard and really hold this guard. Now keep in mind, this is now the second string unit. This left guard is a massive, massive left guard. He's like 6'7", 6'8". And Smith's going to do a great job just holding his block here. The play only picks up about two yards. The part of that is because you're going to see Smith do a nice job staying low, creating that separation, getting off the block, and really not allowing a whole lot of movement. 
Now within this play, you can see that he's going to kind of get off the block here. He's going to really hold the left guard, but he is going to kind of slant back over to the right here. And I do understand this side over here is not his run fit. Right, his run fit is actually over here to the right side of that guard. So he is going to actually go back into his run fit, which is okay. He does his job. He does hold up the block, doesn't allow any movement. And you see the defender here wrap the running back up just to gain about two to three yards. Not a big deal. Pretty nice rep. Let's go ahead and get to the next play. So one of the interesting things with the first half was that the Seattle Seahawks first string unit did actually play in three total drives on the offensive side. And it is very clear that as the backup unit has come in, Mozzie Smith is much better than most of these guys. To me, the guy looks a lot better. You can tell he's getting off the block cleaner. He's able to create separation and he just looks more comfortable. And that's not a knock on Smith. That just means that he's not 100% ready yet, which makes sense. The guy's a rookie. He's in his very second ever NFL game. He's still adjusting to the speed of the game. And to me, you're starting to see flashes like this. This is a power run to the left, so he should seal block, and he's not really expected to do much on this play because as long as the front side edge is set and the linebackers flow properly, and you don't get a whole lot of movement where these guys are getting pushed super far out there, there's not going to be a whole lot of room for guys to kind of run. But you see Smith here who's going to fight through it and get over the top, which is pretty impressive as a backside defender, right? As a guy who's just being sealed off. It's a pretty nice job right there. So if you guys haven't noticed, Sam Williams is obviously out of the game at this point. He really only played in the first three drives or so. And we're a little bit later on in the game, right? We're in the third quarter. Pretty nice rep here by Mozzie Smith. He's going to beat that right guard here and really just claps the pocket. I mean, to me, this is stuff to, to continue to build on. That's a really, really nice rep. You can see him really attack this right guard here. Really get low, get physical, get underneath him and absolutely move this guy. Just a really, really nice rep. The guard is going to get pushed right back into the quarterback. So that right there is kind of what we would expect out of Smith. Obviously, I know he didn't have the same success earlier in the game. Do keep in mind, first team unit of the Seattle Seahawks are top 5-7 to seven offensive line. Very, very good unit. And it's really the interior guys that do it for me with the Seattle Seahawks. And it does make sense. You know, right now, Phil Haynes is a better guard than Mozzie Smith is a D-tackle. Evan Brown is a better center than Smith is a D-tackle. Damian Lewis is a better left guard than Mozzie Smith is a D-tackle. So we didn't see these type of plays on the first three drives of this game. And keep in mind, those three drives basically took us through the half. There was only one other drive before the half ended. So just kind of keep that in mind as you guys analyze Mozzie Smith's tape. To me, he still looked pretty good, especially against the backup unit. And I do think that the internal clock has to kind of speed up for him a little bit still. That's why he didn't have the same success against that first team unit. I know that may sound like an excuse. I'm definitely not making an excuse for Smith because he still had nice plays like this, but he definitely had some bad reps as well. So again, he just has to continue to develop. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Alrighty, guys, we are now in the fourth quarter and Mozzie Smith is done for the day. Overall, he definitely did not look as good as he did week one, but do keep in mind week one, he really only went up against the Jags first team unit. Once or twice, most of the game was the backup guys, and he crushed those guys. He's the best player against the backups, and I want you guys to kind of keep that in mind as we move forward. Smith is not a starting defensive tackle today. Of course, he'll develop into that over time. I'm very excited to continue following him, so if this is the first time you're on this channel, please consider subscribing. We will definitely follow both Mozzie Smith, Sam Williams, as well as some of these younger linebackers. So subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.